Hello, it's Mark here again, and I see you've landed on the sodium hypochlorite page. Now, this is a subject that creates an awful lot of conflict. And hopefully what I'm going to do is explain to you what sodium hypochlorite is, the reasons why we use it in soft washing, and how it can benefit you to achieve amazing results. So let's have a look of what clever what, uh, sodium hypochlorite is. So first of all, sodium hypochlorite, why do we use it? Well, basically, it's the only chemical on the market that can remove black lichen staining or lichens that are black. Now, if organic contamination isn't dealt with within the first few years of it being on a surface, it tends to eat its own feces and then becomes black. And it's incredibly difficult to shift. Pressure washing alone or agitation um, will not get rid of it. Basically, you have to kill it off, and uh, sodium hypochlorite works really well at that. Now, you're asking, well, there's a lot of chemicals that can kill organic contamination. You're absolutely right. But on certain surfaces, black staining from these particular organic stains will not shift. And the only chemical that will shift those is sodium hypochlorite. Now, there's lots of products that have sodium hypochlorite mixed in them, and we normally refer to them as an instant clean. So if you're looking for instant cleaning results, then sodium hypochlorite is the product that you need to use. Now, it's incredibly powerful. Uh, it needs to be handled with care. Um, it breaks down organically really quickly. We're talking two to three hours, and it's turned into salt and water so it could be argued that it's actually quite biodegradable compared to a lot of chemicals on the market um, but we do also encourage people when using sodium hypochlorite to remove black spots and lichens on render for instance we do recommend using a surfactant as well which is uh, our clever wash which i'll just bring up on the screen for you as well and clever wash is is complements sodium hypochlorite and you add it to it to help it uh, break down the surface tension and allow the chemical to be used in weaker solutions so regards to sodium hypochlorite you typically use it at its most powerful strength at a one in three ratio so one part sodium hypochlorite to three parts water but you can also um, run it down to a 1% solution, which is one part sodium hypochlorite to 14 parts water because it's a 15% strength maximum. OK, um, or you could do a simple recipe like one quarter sodium hypochlorite, three quarters water. OK, so that's a one in three ratio. So I don't want to get too bogged down like that. All that information is is uh, down in, in the product page itself. But if you've got a black stain, so black spots on patios, black spot, uh, black streaking on render, uh, wet, poor playground that's lost all its color. It's still there. It's just buried under loads of black lichen. Uh, so you, uh, you can remove it with sodium hypochlorite or if you've got a roof and you want an instant clean after soft wash scraping it um, and you want to apply two coats of sodium hypochlorite that will remove that overall black staining and also sanitize and completely, you know, um, sanitize the uh, area that you clean it, which will allow you then the building to self clean as well. So sodium hypochlorite is the one to use. Um, Basically, we like selling it separately and then making your own recipe with Clever Wash because once you start adding something to uh, sodium hypochlorite, it tends to start oxidizing and breaking down and it loses its potency. So that's why we only mix on demand. So sodium hypochlorite basically uh, typically sold in 14, 15 percent solutions. And uh, for instance, if I give you an idea, if uh, it's so biodegradable, it has to be sold uh, uh, or not uh, shown to the sunlight because that will just let it go off. There's chlorine compounds which, which are locked away within the solution and then they oxidize and uh, break out and you can then smell 
uh, swimming pool that's that chlorine uh, which is the cleaning action the uh, oxidization they call it and it's very effective and uh, sodium hypochlorite is used in many industries it's even used in our drinking water um, obviously and also uh, in swimming pools as well hence the reason why it smells of swimming pool and that's when it's working at its best that oxidization is what's the power behind sodium hypochlorite so i hope i haven't given you too much detail just to keep it simple pool for you not going into too much uh, technical side of things there's lots of information below and uh, and don't forget use your clever wash as well because that's the product you'll find that on on uh, one of the other pages so if you've got any questions or it's raised any queries then just go to the contact us page and request any help and support and we'll be able to give that to you straight away many thanks for stopping by and uh, look forward to an order take care bye bye